Hello guys, welcome back to another part of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Well, I have to say this, uh, this probably has to be the best storyline in Assassin's Creed since Assassin's Creed 2. I love that game and I played that game a lot, uh, but I have to tell you that this probably comes right up there in terms of storyline. Odyssey was good, but uh, uh, I don't seem to have a reason, but I'm enjoying this story a whole lot more than I enjoyed the previous games and I have played all the Assassin's Creed games till date. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far as much as I am. Alright, let's jump right back in. Thank you for heeding me, Eivor. I know the worth of such a gesture. All this is... It's like a dream. But you are not asleep. Well fought, well fought, the both of you. You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. But some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Veneer? Are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin.
Have a song. <laughs> well, I shouldn't have wasted the five minutes. I should have done this already. <laughs> I was trying to park it, but I think I'm a bad driver or a bad commando. Set a spirited tone for East Anglia's future. Eivor! I'm so glad you've made it. Just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. 
Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife. This man and wife, I name you. Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia. With this Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, steward. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Eivor! Care for a challenge? Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrows shatter whatever target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. <sighs> Keep your eyes open long enough to witness this, you drunken loud. As 
password, everything. An easy task for the Wolfkist. Ah, barely a challenge. Impressive. <laughs> Impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Skull Ivor! Let's have a drink. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king? A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories! And the new king of East Anglia! May his reign be long and good! Not bad, Wolfkist. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the ale beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? I accept. All right, so uh, this kind of felt pointless. Uh, I don't want to enjoy the festivities. I just want to get on with the game. But I understand that it's uh, you know part of the game. You have to do that. You are at a wedding, and you know you have to have fun. And this ale drinking contest in particular, it's actually difficult. It's not as easy as it seems. So especially when it comes to the second. Uh, horn or a glass or what you can say that's when actually uh, Eivor starts to tip over you have to control him as well as you have to keep timing this right so that he can drink so that that right there was what I was talking about so I can either control him or I can drink I kind of you know, don't seem to be able to do both together so yeah I always fail at this strong, Rodin. <laughs> but I am stronger. Better luck next time, Wolfkist. Now, you owe me some silver. Fine, take it. Look there, Pillar on the roof. The road to Valhalla does not run. The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they are aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Be plain about it, Stiff Spear. You want to lay with me, is that it? That I do. Will you follow me? To a place more comfortable? Sorry, friend. I'm here for mead and merriment. Nothing else. Wait, did you hear? Did my brother just call me? I think he... You know I should go. Brother! The road to Valhalla does not run that way, Finir. He's been out there a while. Eivor, Eivor! Some sweet wine for a sweet swine? <laughs> Come join me! 
The Saxon god wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again. And it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull, Hati, chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My longship's in Valhalla. Don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on, let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. Meum esodidum panetum revolutam, sed non nod, ubilutam estas. You're very strong. You're very large. Apparatus quod ad ult non sit in vento, sit orbitet expectare in solid. Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Hast du das Edward ist der Gladraboten Panda? Was sind diese und wisste akustik Grünen? Mit Peru mit den Chicken. To me, warrior, the golden glory be our meat and meat. I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests. We've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now. In all of you, Dane and Saxon alike, to our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king.
king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as they first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the larches I've ever known. He is sturdy, he has wisdom, and he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. He is the king East Anglia deserves. And the king you need. To the good King Oswald! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all! My king! He. <laughs> the sheep you left to guard me have been shorn. Oswald, king of sheep fuckers, show your eyes. I challenge you. I accept. Oswald is king, and a king must have a champion. I will fight in his stead. He challenged me, Eivor. Your fight is bigger than this, Lord. You must rebuild East Anglia plank by plank, and a dead king cannot keep his oaths. Let me finish this. Oswald, you gutless Arya swine! I'll slay the wolf kissed, then hang you with your own tongue. You always getting in the way. East Anglia can burn for all I can. I wish it had not come to this. So much death, so much anger. What's done is done. You're leaving now? I should. Your wedding should be a day of peace and happiness. Today I lack both. Eivor, you've done East Anglia a great service. I promised you an alliance, and now you have it. And one day, I will need you to make good on that alliance. I should find Finia. Say goodbye before I leave.
Bro, dear, look after Oswald, will you? Aye, he is family now. And I could not be more proud of him. <laughs> we have you to thank for that. <laughs> Take care. Valdis! Will you not stay a moment longer, Eivor? I should not linger. My banner folk await my return. I understand. Take care, Valdis. You fought well, and won yourself a worthy king. I did, didn't I? Take care, Eivor. Would help well, you. Well, Ah, greetings, Eivor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together? Together. I'll gather my things. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. Maybe peace is the way of things now. Now let's just try and uh, fast travel to the next location so uh, for some reason for the last week I was not able to fast travel in this game whenever I do that I just stand where I was nothing actually happened then I had to ride all the way to the map and sometimes it was very long <laughs> oh, okay yeah that worked that worked so it seemed to be uh, would have been some kind of a bug but yeah it's working now fine god What do you have today? Okay, I really don't want to buy anything right now from him, but I actually completed a couple of contracts and I did not kind of get anything for that. Uh, so that's the reason I'm checking if I had to come back. There are contracts for killing things, contracts for... Hmm... Well, it is mostly killing. Uh, I really don't want to take on any contracts right now. I have a lot of side missions as is. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Roland, Volker. Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Polgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Huh. Rob disappointed word? Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you?
Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Ah. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing! Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing... My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holger and how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rohan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgifu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning, in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required Delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rohan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Holger is at fault. You can't just cut a tail like that, man. Holger, That's wrong. Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan, admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, it's so grace you held in its creation. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day.
That Holger, he is quite a character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass, and live with such petty concerns, he hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulva sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at this burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. I asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Halfton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. ...but it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult... ...the Order of the Ancients. He asked that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there... ...and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. All right, so we will end this part here and we will pick it up from where we left off in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and today, drop Eivor? your like if you like the video. All right, guys, so until we see you again, stay safe and stay healthy. Ciao.